going y'all to Sucker Pacino back with another video. Big shout out to Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> Gilbert Arenas on IG, man. Make sure y'all follow him. No dot chill dot gil. Uh, yeah, man. The dude was fucking hilarious with his IG post. But I'm going to flip this around. But before we can get into that, I want to show y'all a few things here. And I had to edit this out with the girl's butt on top of him. She handled it. But it's G-string. And I don't want no problems with YouTube. All right, so obviously, as you can see here, there's money everywhere. This is a strip club, and a guy of John Morant's status financially, you can make this happen. Um, I want to know why the hell is all this food on the table not being eaten? <laughs> First of all, that's probably fifteen, two thousand dollars worth of food right there. I may be exaggerating, but I don't know. It's John Morant. You know, you're probably going to charge him $200 a plate, maybe $300. I don't know. But that's not the point. The point is that when you're in a strip club, you're going to do this. It might not be that much money laying around. It might not be that much food on the table. But this looks like a VIP room. It's probably, you know, having a good time. You probably had sex with the chick. Who knows? But this is what you do in a strip club. And it is what it is. Now, I want to talk about this post right here. This is what, of course, Gilbert Arenas is being sarcastic. But he said, can all media outlets apologize to John Moran for his smear campaign that they did by calling him a thug, this family man, hero, role model, franchise player, future of the face of the, of the league, and now philanthropist. <laughs> He is shown here donating his money and time to a local historic place called Shotgun Willies that houses misguided females of the community due to the lack of funding from the city. The building, AC, was not working at the time. <laughs> Y'all gotta excuse me. The building... <laughs> we gonna do this in one take. <laughs> Hold on, let me catch my breath. <laughs> the building... <laughs> the building AC was not working at the time, which is why Moran's shirt was seen off in the picture. The 50K donation that Mr. Moran provided had one of the local community women so excited she jumped on <laughs> Mr. Moran without his consent. <laughs> oh, let me let's screw this up. As you can see, he was not touching the woman nor enjoying what he was what was going on. As for Mr. Morant live video, due to the large amount of currency displayed on the ground, a local Deliverite attempted to rob his this hysterical place, and Mr. Morant courageously put his life in harm's way and disarmed the bandit. <laughs> Mr. Morant showed great hero sizzle, heroism. Uh, I said that all fucked up. The mayor of Denver, Mr. B, Mr. My, Michael B. Hancock, dropped the investigation against Mr. Moran and now is thinking about giving him the key to the city for his bravery that night. Can't wait to see Mr. Moran back on the floor. 100. All heroes don't wear capes, but Mr. Moran does. Stand up, citizen. <laughs> Yo such a hilarious post but let's get back to this <laughs> let's get back to this man so uh for those who don't know the information gatorade has just dropped him and removed him from their commercial <sighs> i got a question a million dollar question this man is at a strip club doing what you would normally do it's just being put on front street because well the first thing he did was recorded on ig live now that's his fault this right here is not his fault that it's being exposed what he does in this private strip club i'm gonna be the one to tell y'all there was a player by the name of cletus hunt that played for the green bay packers i've seen this picture before and i was in a room like this room multiple strippers money everywhere I mean, this is what you do in a strip club. I've seen BMF with my own two eyes. Strip club. Big chains on. 
cars lined up around the corner. I mean, this is what they do. This is what men do with money. They go to strip clubs. This is what they do. I'm not a strip club guy. If I had millions of dollars, I definitely wouldn't be on this couch with this chick and money everywhere. I'd be at home with that chick <laughs> in my lap, but that's neither here nor there. <sighs> the million dollar question is this. Will we really be doing this to John Morant if he was in a gay club? If he had a transgender on his lap? If he was even bisexual? Would we even care? Would they would would they actually endorse him with even more endorsements if he came out the closet? I tell you what, what if watch this, what if he came out and said that he was a transgender female? Would they still do this to him? You know, you know they wouldn't. See, and I'm not saying what he did on the video was correct, but he didn't do anything illegal. He did something that broke the NBA rules, the NBA policy. There's no investigation because the investigation is thrown out. I made my video where I said, hey, you know, he probably could be in big trouble. Hey, they didn't do the investigation out. That's, that's, that's dead. What he's doing in the strip club is his personal business. This picture is his personal business. The New York Post posted this. See? This is the same country that has now frowned upon a heterosexual black male having fun in a strip club with his own personal time. Having a good time. What you, what you want to be doing in a strip club? Just sitting down, just reading a book? What you expect them to be doing? I guess people never been inside a strip club. Now I'm going to chill right there because I might end up getting flagged for the few things that I've already said. But that's a million dollar question. A few questions at that. What if Ja Morant wasn't a heterosexual male with a woman in his lap. I'm starting to think that y'all frown upon men who are straight doing things with the opposite sex. Hmm. Okay. You know what? In a scope. Oh goodness. Can I say that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. <clears throat> You know what no one said to Isaiah Rashad? If you're a fan of Isaiah Rashad, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The artist, top, top dog entertainment, TD. You know what no one never said about Isaiah Rashad? Hey, man, you got caught giving fellatio to a man on camera. We might need to drop you from Interscope. We might need to take sponsorships from you. As a matter of fact, he was on video giving fellatio to a man. And there was another video of him receiving fellatio from two different white males in front of him while he stands up in front of them while they're on their knees. This is a video of this is Isaiah Rashad. Meanwhile, he had been perpetrating the fraud as if he was a straight heterosexual male with multiple children and a girlfriend. He never once came out and said it, but it was none of our business. We didn't care. However, they supported him. They comforted him. And they came to his aid. We didn't, nobody really criticized him for that. Of course, me personally, I was like, uh, you're bisexual. Oh, I, I, okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, I listen to your music. I don't want to see you doing it. That shit just popped up on Twitter. Like, what the fuck? I wasn't ready for that. Just popped up. But I digress. If Ja Morant was not a heterosexual male with a woman in his lap, 
Because ironically, I Gatorade pulled the plug when this picture came out. I should have been pulled the plug when they saw the video with the gun. But I guess they that wasn't a real big deal. I guess it's a real big deal with the woman in his lap. Like, so I guess he's a heterosexual male. That's why he's losing the sponsorship. I'm starting to believe that. What y'all think? Sucka Pacino for the Hugga Pacino effect. Like, share, and subscribe. Pretty girls to the dance floor of this strip club. The ugly girls leave and go to the parking lot. Go. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive all notifications from Huggy Pacino. In the description box, you can find all 10 channels. HP Media 1 and 2 are the two new channels. You can also subscribe to my dog Julio and Huggy Pacino 1 through 6. And there's also a Huggy Pacino Effect throwback channel. And you can also contact me via email and phone. And if you would love to donate to the channel, here's where you could donate. Cash App and PayPal. The link's on the screen. Donations. 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 Gifts. Gifts. Uh-huh. Pacino certified. 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 certified.